Hello everybody, Ace Stocky here, and welcome back to another episode of my complete... Another episode of my Let's Play of the Complete Yogg's Cast Pack. Uh, off camera, I took the liberty of going and getting another two buckets of lava. So you can see it's two buckets full. For some reason it's not showing up here yet. So I think I need to stick something in first to make that happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw... Uh, why not? Let's throw in nine blocks of iron, and we will see how things go. Um, I also, off camera, came through here, and I made up uh, a tool rod pattern. But what I also realized is I needed not just a tool rod pattern, I needed a tough tool rod pattern. And a tough binding, tough tool rod, and a large plate. Because without those patterns, um, you can't really do anything that I would want to do. So... Um, back to making some of those up, and I am going to have to make them up in, in aluminium brass as well so that I can cast them, but that's going to come back for later, for now anyway, um, we're doing kind of alright, yep, chuck those all in there, um, bam, 18 iron ingots. Uh, let's now grab these casts, and we will start making some tools. So for starters, we're going to need, um, what are we going to need? We're going to need a pick, a sword, a shovel, and an axe. I need four tool rods. It's going to be four ingots. One, two, three and four excellent put those away take that away let's now make a pick head I'm gonna make these tools completely out of iron I think it would be probably more effective uh, to make part of it out of stone or something like that in fact, I might make um, I might make the tool binding out of stone and the wide guard out of no. I might make the wide guard out of cactus actually, because that'll give me um, yeah, that'll actually give me some benefits. So I'll make a stone binding and cactus. I need cactus. Because yeah, um, cactus will give the jagged property to the sword, uh, which will mean it'll do more damage as it wears out. And the stone bound from the iron guard um, will add. What is it that it adds? Uh, like uh, the ability for it to mine faster as it as it kind of wears out. So hopefully those will be two good benefits to have. Because the handle gives the durability multiplier, which is obviously what you want to make it last longer. And the head sets the mining speed and kind of the basic properties of it, but also sets the repair material. Um, so I'm thinking of like making one of those giant hammers, but making it out of uh, stone instead of iron. I guess it depends on how much iron I've got and what I'm going to use it for. I really do have a fair bit of iron, don't I? 13 ingots left. Get that ingot cast. So we want um, a cactus guard. We've got a chunk of cactus left. So these are cobblestone cactus. That is a yeah, cactus wide guard. So you can see the wide guard gives it the jagged modifier. Oh, actually, better hang on to that because there's going to be some ingots left, isn't there? Three more. Chuck these away. I actually converted all my blocks into ingots before uh, because that way they took up less space in my chest. What have we got? Last one. 
and then we're ready to put these tools together and see what we get. Yeah, absolutely full cool. Sort that inventory out a bit. Uh, actually, let's get my book. Because my book should tell me all about materials and you, I think it is. Will tell me all about them. Um, where are we? So we've got iron. So the material is reinf reinforced level one. So I don't know if having a second one would add an extra bit of reinforce to it or not. Actually, stone says you get stone bound level one. Interested to see if stone bound point six seven. So maybe you do get a bonus from having the same modifier. What do I want? No, I'm going to stick with what I've decided on. Because I don't know how much difference the modifier makes anyway. Uh, so, here we are, the tool station. So let's make a pick. We want iron, and that, and that. So it's going to have stonebound 0.33, mining speed 6, max stonebound bonus 1.13, mining level redstone. So its effective durability is 356, and I think that's because of the durability modifier. So, iron, pick. It's like triple the durability of that one. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to go for a shovel. This is just going to be a pretty standard shovel. Nothing too fancy about it. Little iron hatchet. Iron axe. And here we have our. Hmm. Where did my sword blade go? I forgot to make one, didn't I? Things you forget sometimes. Well, take one of them back, chuck it in so while I'm doing that, because I think. Oh no, that's going to work horribly, I don't want to do that. Don't end up with like half blocks and stuff. But yeah, we have iron shovel, iron axe, iron torch, iron pick. I do want to see how fast this thing is, but it can wait till morning. I wish it wasn't quite so white. It looks just a little too new. Prefer it look like it had, you know, been worn in a little bit. Uh, you can see in my inventory. I've got my steel helmet as well, which is a very useful thing for when you're going underground below 32. Because, like I said, this helmet that I have only counts as leather. There's my beautiful sword blade, look at that. And you are now empty, right? Yep, cool. And we want a sword. Murderizer. Murderizer spelt correctly. So you've got the murderizer with the half a heart jagged bonus. Awesome. So now I'm going to cheat for a second because I can't be bothered making you guys watch me run. I think flying's about twice as fast as running, and you know I probably lose a you know I probably should lose a little bit more. Um, ooh, it's like carpenters' doors have the double door might install automatically. Um, yeah, I should lose a little bit more like food. But eh. Stonebound sword. Stonebound pick. Times two. One broken, doesn't matter. And shovel. And axe. And I didn't make a tinkerous construct hoe. Um, okay, so it's time to go test some of these tools out. 
particularly because now I have a better chance of getting some good stuff. Um, I really want to add glass into all these things too. I will definitely do that off camera. What have I got in here? Um, you got over a hundred pieces of glass, so that should that should get a fair way through the town hall and these level two structures. I'm not going to glass up the level one structures because that would just not be fitting with them being a level one structure. Um, in fact, now that I've got to where I've got to, I think before I go any further, I do want to make a lumber axe. What do I need though for that lumber axe? I need a tool forge. Because you can't make level 2 buildings here. So it needs four blocks of iron and some more seared bricks. I haven't got enough seared bricks but I can do four blocks of iron. Yes. So I can do that. And while I'm waiting for that to cook up, um, I'll get some more lava and show you where I got the lava from. Ha ha! can get that amber bearing stone now. dirt those holes back in. Um, could still get that but don't want to. So it's all this amber bearing stone, it's just like in the way. Because I keep digging around it. <clears throat> Drives me crazy. I think at my dot Thorncraft, one of the first things I need is that uh, it's like a glasses thing that you look through that thing, a thermometer so I'm going to need some gold so because I can't use gold until the next level um, it's going to really be quite a while before I, before I really get anywhere did go the wrong way I hate it when you Um, kind of doubt yourself. Um, I haven't got any pink wood, I don't think, to replace that. No. I'm still going to dig it out, though, before I forget. And, yeah, we'll just have to pretend it's still holding the roof up. So there's something down here, too, I thought. Maybe not. Yeah, you're doing pretty good iron pick. Although you're not going to be too much better than uh, two stone picks. That, that, that'd that be 260 and you're only like 350. And you did take a lot of iron to make. Um, so this is down here where I got my lava. So I'll show you where I explored there in a little while. Um, before I do that, let's get some of these ores and things that we couldn't get before. Hmm. That looks good. Anything up here we couldn't get? Definitely looks like it. What are you? Ah, oh, some more chimerite. So we end up with lots of chimerite chunks here. And I, like I said, I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, down this way, but there's a, a pit down there, bunch of stuff over here. Actually, I'll leave that block there for now. And that one, I'm just gonna leave all this stuff I don't really want. <laughs> but you can see on the walls where I've mined a bunch of stuff out. So that's a pretty good little corridor. <laughs> Bit of lapis, never heard anyone. What should I get? 39. Yeah, 39 is not really all that useful. And this iron pick doesn't feel substantially faster than the stone pick. Which I'm 
I'm sure is not how it's meant to be. I'm going to have to collect all the iron I can now. So I can just feel myself going through this pick. It's going to be like, hey pick, hey pick, hey pick, hey pick. Oops, look at that. There's four or five iron ingots gone. Looks like get you later, get you later. <clears throat> so much stuff I'll get later. Shard and stones. Coal, uh, coal, copper. Some more silver. Ooh, actually, I can't get some silver now. Can't use it because silver's the same as gold as far as I'm concerned. So here we have a nice cavernous area that I haven't explored. And then, yeah, came down here and pretty much stopped. That was not meant to be an opening there. Yeah, that was... That's bad form, leaving that open like that. Zinc. What am I going to use zinc for? Sorry about that. Um, zinc is for brass, I think. So yeah, came down this way. Uh, went off this direction a little bit, lighting some stuff up. Didn't light that for some reason. Where's my magic spell book? And I tend to just kind of stand around and shoot creepers and things. Just because it's, it helps on the experience front. Um, again, a bunch of ores that I wasn't really interested in at the time. Um, again, quite a few more ores. Ran around. Got got a few different little things. Kind of explored a tiny little bit. Mainly, um, just kind of ran through and tried to light things up. See, I totally missed this iron here. But the purpose of what I was doing was actually bringing you down. Um, to show you... All of these little kind of nooks and crannies and things that I ran through, lit up, and then ran back out of. Or, you know, down there. It's what I wanted to show is where I was getting my lava from. So, yeah, I can't go below uh, 33. Sorry, I can't go below 32. So, I jumped across here. Actually, I think I stepped down the bottom down here. And then jumped straight back up as soon as I realised... But I kind of mined around here for a little while, and I could hear lava. So dug under here, lava was dripping. Tried a little stairway up. Nope, still dripping on me. Started going that way. Thought, nah, that's not the right spot. So I came a long way back. Mined it up, a little, you know, good old 3x3 three three mining shaft, and propped it up because... Bum, bum, bum. Totally didn't even notice that hole in the roof. And I'm running out of bread. Stupid bread. So where did my buckets go? Lava. Lava. So you can see there's quite a bit of it in there. So it's going to last me a while. Um, I have all these other ores and things that I can get, you know. Like the mechanism ores and things like that. And, you know, I could smell the osmium stuff up. But I don't know what I would do with it. I just have no idea what use Osmium would be. So let's try atmod.mech. <sighs> mechanism, mechanism, mechanism. So I think one of the first things we need to make are those generators, aren't they? Heat generator, maybe? What does that need? Iron, Osmium, a furnace. See, I could make all that stuff if I say that osmium is at the right level. But then what would I do with the th all that power? Like a solar generator, hydrogen, I don't need those. Machines, here we go. A basic factory, what do you need? You need enriched alloys, which needs redstone, so yeah. Even though I could get it, there's not really anything I could do with it. Yeah. You make sapphires, what are your uses? 
plus six damage. I wonder. Iron. Iron's plus five damage. So in my mind, uh, this stuff is diamond equivalent because obviously it's it requires an iron pick to mine and it does more damage than iron does it's probably got a faster mining speed and stuff too so yeah it's going to be diamond equivalent and uh, steel and ardite and the other alloys as well they're all by my mind diamond equivalents too because they're just better than iron um, so if you I guess don't like that rule yeah, that, I can't really do much about that but you know I think that's probably the fairest way to do it because there's going to be there's going to be a lot of different ways of sort of deciding how you do things and I think the best is just to go with whatever seems reasonable and so yeah that, that's my reasonableness test you know, if I want to upgrade my iron to that then it's probably better than iron and I probably should have to wait um, bronze, as I understand it, is slightly better than iron uh, in terms of how the Tinkerous Construct tools work. So I could, um, I could make bronze, even though it's slightly better, because yeah, it is just slightly better. But I think I'm actually at the point now where I have. Um, trying to think if I have enough stuff to be able to do some things with Ars Magica. Let's see, I need an Oculus. Which I can't spell apparently. Oh man. At more.ars. Oh, double C. Okay, so that needs blue topaz. Hand him and let's test out my new stuff. Ha! Got him! Oh, and his head! I don't like all those noises. Don't like all those noises one bit. I see you there, Mr. Spider. And I do not wish to play. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so what was I saying? I don't know, can't be important. Uh yeah, blue topaz. If I can get blue topaz, that means I'm in the position where I should now be able to get things that are good and stuff. Seems reasonable to me. Oh, berries. I just don't know what level blue topaz spawns at. Sometimes, sometimes you know, sometimes you don't. And I just don't have a clue. What if my little chart tells me? Um, nope, doesn't mention it. Some lot of good it is. Now how do I get back out of here? There's always a way. So that was, yeah, that was a bit more of a mining, but I guess it was a mining slash exploring expedition, which is pretty good. And it's night time again. It's always night time again. But yeah, if I can find some blue topaz. Come on. I see no reason why I couldn't use it. And then I can make myself a, a new compendium, because I don't want to use my last compendium, even though they're the same thing. <clears throat> I just feel it's, it's almost a bit cheaty. So how are we doing here? 18 ingots of molten iron. Um, so I can't do obsidian yet.
just gonna chuck everything in here because I don't care anymore. Eat the creepy berries. Eat the berries, eat the berries, eat the berries. <laughs> that was kind of odd the way it went down and back up in the animation. Had me just a little perplexed for a second. <clears throat> so I want the broadhead axe cast. What are the other things that I need? Okay. Need a block of iron to start with. In fact, I need four of them, don't I? Probably shouldn't have done that. Now, what do I need? I needed seared bricks. Once again, flying is a real time saver when you're on camera. I'm always tempted to do it when I'm off camera. And you know, I'll be honest, sometimes I do, but most of the time I try not to. So we need you. We do need sand and we need gravel. Well, lucky I have an all new fan dangled singing, dancing, and shovel. Oop. Look at that, just acing through the sand. Oh, okay, that's what happened. See, this is why I try not to use creative when I'm playing by myself off camera because I tend to just forget what I'm doing and do dumb things um, such a temptation to just go, ah oh, you know, no one will even notice if I do that well you know what, I would notice and I would feel bad about it so you know what, there you go, I've lost some sand gives me no advantage makes me feel silly. So we want clay. Hello cow. You can prepare to, prepare to cop sword. And you. And you. I'm gonna come back with my lumber axe. That's gonna be the first thing I take out. Got some sweet looking moonstone here. Now moonstone is pretty hard to come by and very very important to me. So where is my fortune pick? No, seriously, where is it? Um <clears throat> okay. Somewhere around here I have a fortune hang on. And my lumber axe. Must have. I must have left him back at home somehow. Yeah, I don't like it when that happens. It makes me really nervous that now I've lost him. I mean, I can always remake him, so it's not a big deal. But you know, I was kind of attached to those guys. Um, so we need four, and we need three of them. Throw those little feet on the ground for now. And the stone and that. Okay. Where's my grout? Where's my grout? Grout, stone. See, this is inventory management at its finest. Cobble, lots of gravel. I want to keep that lead, stone, stone. So this time I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back uh, in order to make the tool forge to finish things up. So back in just a second. Okay, and I'm back. 
So now we need to make bricks. So make those three and you can see the gap just here where I have chopped up my old tool station for the bettering of farmy town kind. There we go. And now that we can, what do we need? We need a tough binding, a tough rod, a big thingy and one of those. Um, Do I have, yeah, I have a large stone plate, so I'm going to use the stone plate. So let's... Oh, there's the broad head axe head pattern. So we'll chuck that on there. See how much that takes. Looks like it's going to take most of it. Okay, now we're going to have to make the handle. How much we got left in here? One left. Yeah, we're going to have to make the handle out of iron as well because we really want to maximise how long it lasts for. Don't want it breaking on me. So that means I need aluminium brass. One, two, three. Let's take a bunch of these because I don't know how many I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to cook up nine of them, <clears throat> then use however many, and then just top the rest up. I'm pretty sure the way this thing cooks is it uses the same amount no matter how much you put in there. I think. Can't be completely sure. Look at this. Prepare to make axe. Yeah. It's gonna give me stone bound. Okay. I only used one. Um, you know, that's not really too bad. Let's chuck that back in now. Chuck one in. Have enough for a block. You need to keep that tough rod cast though. And then smoosh some iron. Come on. It, it really is not that dissimilar to watching paint dry. Now, these things are good to use, right? Make a quartz pick. I heard that's kind of like an iron pick. So tough rod costs three material. What else do I need? Um, we need a tough rod, a binding. Um, I'm gonna go for the for the man. I can't believe I just took that back out. I'm going to go for a stone binding. I can just make another stone binding. Because I forgot to cast it. I hate it when you forget these things. Actually, unless there's something else that's good that might give me a modifier I want. Uh, wood gives me nothing. Stone bound, reinforced, jagged, obsidian. Yeah, I really want obsidian as soon as I can start to get that. Uh, Alumite, can't get that. Netherrack, no. Nah. Those things are all useful. Useless, sorry. Um, paper binding. I would use a stack of paper. Bronze would give me reinforced. Pig iron would give me tasty. No. <clears throat> it is what it is. It's just going to have to be stone. Okay, so once I put this together, I'm going to take apart one of their trees. Lumber axe. 
Oh yeah. Durability nearly a thousand. Wow. And that was pretty fast too. The question I have is how much durability did that actually take off me? Click it back up on the roof. That's why it's an easy access roof. Um, yeah, that took a fair bit off the durability. It looks like, it looks like it's one per log. Oh, really? You're going to play that game, hey? You're not going to break for me. Well. I see you and I will hatch at you. Yep, that's right. Uh-oh. Whoa, never seen a lightning bolt do that before. Back away, back away. Don't take my mana. Okay, um, on that note, if I can sleep, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I now have my iron tools, so I'm ready to get cracking with the rest of this challenge. Um, I have to eat my last bread, because once I finish my bread... Oh yeah, it's time for the bread for meat eaters. Steak. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, a stocky out.